profit margin. What exactly is it? I'm Clay, let me explain. Let's start at the very basics of profit margin and just from a mathematical standpoint, it is based as a percentage and we'll kind of build from this point. So what exactly is a profit margin? Before I go any further, I do talk about a couple of these next uh, points in uh, the, the video I've done before. So I'll put a link below such as revenue and expenses uh, and actually profit margin, profit margin shows up in that video. But I, upon watching it back, I feel like I could have done a little deeper dive into it, hence the point of this video. But if you're not sure what revenue is and expenses and stuff like that, go and watch that video first. But assuming you do, then we'll just proceed on here. So how is a profit margin actually calculated? Well, you have a very, very basic, straightforward calculation here, and it is revenue minus expenses. And then you're gonna divide all that by the revenue. And again, if you're not really exactly sure, most people know what expenses mean, but unsure about revenue, just go and watch that video from last week. So you do that calculation, and then of course, because it is, remember, based as a percentage, whatever that gives you, you wanna multiply it by 100 to convert it into a percentage. So that is what how a profit margin is calculated. But what actually is it? How does it actually work? Well, the way my mind kind of processes it is that a profit margin from a, from a business standpoint is more so kind of what I would call business flexibility. Meaning it's basically telling you how flexible a business can be or maybe just how constrained and how you know they, they can't really move that much. But that's how I picture it as far as, you know, kind of just um, you know, a, a, not necessarily an accounting way of looking at it, but just kind of a, a practical way is how flexible can a business be? And the flexibility is based on this percentage, meaning the lower that number is, the lower the percentage, the lower the profit margin, the less and less flexible it is. The higher that percentage, the more flexible it is. So what do exactly do I mean by that? Well, let me get do let me get a couple of scenarios set up and then I'll see you back here in just a second. So here we have two companies. I know I got super creative with the names of these companies, but company A, company B, and let's quickly run through the numbers here, do a couple of calculations, and then I'll show kind of how this flexibility would work uh, in, in the real world. I'll buy, you know, very simple look at things, but it, you know, it'll get the point across. So company A, revenue of $100, again, just keeping the numbers very, very, uh, you know, simplistic. So they do $100 in revenue, they being the company. Expenses right here, you can see, so just to keep the lights on, $10. Labor, so you know, you gotta hire people, $30. And then, you know, marketing, $20. You add these up, which give you the total expense of $60. So let's do the calculation real quick. You'd have $100 minus the expenses. So again, revenue minus expense, divide that by the revenue, and that's gonna give you ultimately 40%, because after you multiply it by 100, 40%. Now let's look at company B. $100 revenue, so that's the same. Lights, 20. Labor, $50. Marketing, 20. So that brings a total of $90. So here you have, again, the revenue minus the expenses, and then you want to divide that by the revenue again, multiply it by 100, and that's going to give you 10%. So here to you know, kind of make yourself sound cool, 40% profit margin for company A, 10% profit margin for company B. And I get it, okay, yeah, now you can sound cool and press the friends, you know, whatever, or maybe get made fun of by the friends, I don't know. But the point being, you actually know, you, you know you're talking business, but what does that actually mean in terms of flexibility? Well, let's just say, for example, uh, that you know, company A and B, you know, they're competing against one another, and they say, you know what, we we, we want more customers, we want more you know clients, so let, let's let's do this, let's up our marketing budget. So here they're going to just up it by, and I'm going to keep this even across the board, but marketing is going up by ten dollars. Okay, so each company increasing their marketing by ten dollars. So this now becomes. So from 20 to 30, 
this now becomes again, same as that 20 to 30. So what does this do to our numbers down here? Well, that's gonna add 10 more dollars here. So this 60 now becomes 70, and then this 90, add 10 more dollars to it, now becomes 100. So what does that do to our calculations down here? Well, this raises it to 70. So 100 minus 70 is now actually 30. So the profit margin has dropped down to 30%. In this case though, maybe you see where I'm headed with this. This is now $10 more, so 100. So you do the math here, and their profit margin now is zero, meaning they're not making any money anymore. Their profit is gone. Even though both companies only raise it the same amount, each you know invested $10 more into marketing, because company A had a lot more flexibility going into this you know, effort, into this experiment, however you wanna look at it, compared to company B, they just had a much bigger advantage. Now the one part I'm leaving out is because it's marketing, potentially that marketing effort would have raised the revenue. So that's one part that you know, would ideally not remain the same because you're spending more on marketing, that number right there, you should get more sales. But setting all that aside, the point here being that both companies wanted to increase their marketing. And both companies could do that, but because company A had more flexibility, because they had a bigger profit margin at the start, they were able to do that experimentation and still walk away with making money. Maybe a little less money because their profit margin was down, but walk away with making money. Whereas company B, because they just had less profit margin to begin with, aka less flexibility, yeah, they did the same exact thing, but that ultimately led them to now not even making any money. So that's how profit margin works. Uh, you know, sometimes it can get a little, wait, what? But at the core, all it is is telling you how flexible a business can actually be in order to try to grow and expand into the future. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.